<laughs> uh, another question about Brent was you and Teddy were credited uh, with writing many songs together. What was the process? Would they initially write the songs and then you'd write them to get in the studio? Or, you, you know, would Teddy say, let's write the song? Would you write the lyrics or he come up with the music? Well, that was the question. What song was it? Did you sit No, no, just generally when you did songs with Teddy, you know, like, is it good to you? Any of the songs, would he come up with the beat and you write or would you write? And then he would. Teddy, if, if I work the same way with generally everybody I work with, from Boy Jarvis, my first song, Teddy, Pharrell, Q-Tip, anybody. They give me an open track and I take it home and I write lyrics and melody to it. Mm -hmm. Now, with Teddy and Is It Good To You, what I remember is that a lot of times with Teddy, because he had, and this is the difference. This, this is the reason why some of the Neptune music is so much more precious to me. Mm -hmm. And that's why I still want to put it out as the song. My, because it wasn't a thing of, well, the record company is looking for this or looking for that. You see, Teddy had, you know what made Teddy such a genius? He took direction from what the company wanted. And then he added his, you know, his talent and made it seem like the company didn't ask for that. Like that was all his idea. But a lot of times it was certain things they were looking for. So mm -hmm. I say, uh, regardless of what it was, they give me an open track. I write lyrics and melody, but sometimes Teddy would have the hook already to the okay. song. Like, is it good to you? I know he already had the idea for it. The, the, the lyrics of, is it good to you? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if he had the melody or not, but that's all he had. I filled in all the rest, okay. you know, but like a tonight's tonight. I don't remember if he had the, 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 uh, the, Maybe he did. I, that that sound like Teddy. Sound like Teddy might have had the 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 idea for the title of the song, you know. And then I went home and filled in everything else, so all okay. the lyrics, all the melody. So generally, you would work. He'll you'd have a, a sort of a reference kind of, tr and then you'd write and then put some melody. No, not a reference. He would just sit and talk to me and tell me. Like I would come to the studio with Teddy. He would work. With, I would come to the studio. He said, "Oh, I got this new song." He played a song. And then now the song was on Teddy when the, when the hook come, he like, is it good? And he might just do that. And he was like, you know, you know, and that would be it. And then he said, he give me the track. We didn't reference anything. He would just sing it to me, you know, face to face while we were there. And then I'd go home from what we discussed, go home and, and put, put it down. And then when I come back the next day, that's when we would reference it. Okay. And what I want to say about him and everybody I work with, I never worked with one of them where they said, oh, no, we don't like that. Go back and do something else. Seemed like every time whatever I wrote, I was able to grasp the idea and the vision that they were trying to explain to me. Yeah. And when I gave it back, it worked out. It's something like, um, um, oh, goodness, the one that you did with Big Bub, um, I Like His Style. Mm-hmm. Did you get involved in, in that writing or mainly just sang? The I don't believe so. I believe it was a thing where that thing was done already. And then they said, you know who might sound good on there with you? That's called Tammy. In. And it was mm -hmm. a lot of that, too, because, you know, once I was on a few things, people liked it. Teddy liked mm -hmm. it. Everybody liked it, you know. And then that's how I got called in on that. I didn't do any writing on that, no. Okay. Were you in the studio with Bub? Yeah. What were we? I don't know, because I think it could have been where Bubs was already on, and then they called me. A lot of times when I went in, I just went in and did my thing, just me and Teddy, and maybe some of the people that were there mm -hmm. at the studio at the time, like the, the the late Big Al, who's not with us anymore. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the, whoever the engineer was working with Teddy at the time, and some like of the people so. they would come in, Markel, they would come in and listen but I don't know. I don't think Big Bub was there the same day I did it. I think his vocals were already on there. Okay. Okay. If I remember it correctly. I think my favorite, um, when, if I think of my favorite Tammy Lucas feature is, it's hard between Goodbye Love, but I think it's it has to be a Let's Stay. There's um, you know, let's, let's Stay, stay together. together by Guy. Um, um yeah, that's that's probably one of my favorite guy 
tracks, um, especially, yeah. Well, um, it was nice that me and Aaron Hall got to get on something again, you know. I do remember that Aaron had came, that's when Teddy was in Virginia, he came down to Virginia to do that. Okay. But again, I don't believe we were in the studio at the same time. Teddy called me in and 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 he probably already had the idea of where he wanted me to sing at. Okay. And I came in and and stacked my my vocals, you know, like on the song I like. I'm singing, I like bum 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 bum. I like then I'm singing, I like. Boom, 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 I like, and then I'm singing, I like, boom, 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 I like. So they got three different vocals, you know, and then I like the way, girl. I'm all over that track. And that's why when the young lady recently, some young lady, she's a DJ. She did a remix of the song. I reposted it on there, you know. People love that song. Yeah, yeah. I love it. You know, Timmy Gatlin, he did his thing. But a lot of times people don't realize that's me singing all on all on the back with, with him. I like the way girl. I love and oh and whatever background is on there, I'm on it. All over it, you know what I'm saying, and 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 I'm proud of that because it's such a great song, you know. I had no idea great, that you were. You know what I love? It's an original song, you know. It's 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 an original song. It's not copied. It's not sampled from, mm -hmm. you know. That's a big thing to write an original song and it become a classic. Yeah, yeah. Listen, <laughs> that's, that's big. What, yeah, Tim, and that's what Timmy wasn't happy that you didn't get any credit on the guy album because. I said most of us did not realize that you sang Goodbye Love because they didn't, you know, Gene didn't put any credit. Right. He didn't they put anything. it on there. Yeah. It, 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 you know, but. Yeah, but you know, he was doing, you know, so that's a different thing. But yeah, that's why. And, and, and he wasn't the worst person in the whole world. He wasn't the evil man. He was just, he was a black man <laughs> in, in this world. It's a lot of time people don't realize about our, our people. You know, all over the world, we've been treated bad, okay? Since, <laughs> since the moment we got here. So sometimes, you, you know, how we, we, we operate, it ain't perfect, but we got to give each other grace. Yeah. The, the, um, an another question that um another question that um uh, let me see um Jabba Robbins asks is that were you around when Teddy did the remix for Jane Child Why Don't We Fall in Love Were you You talking about um the Jane Child track the remix Why Don't We Fall Yeah I, yeah I have a picture with her I was in the studio when he was doing that I posted the picture I saw I you yes I saw the picture you had yeah, yeah what was the I posted a bunch of pictures but one of the pictures with me and Jane Child yeah, yeah. so the Absolutely. question was what was it like seeing Teddy remix that song because it seems as if that one of the songs that almost revived his career that the success of that song Yeah it took him to another level once he had did that song Listen like I say, Teddy was a stand-up guy when I met him, you know, at, at Uptown. We we started working. The first song we did was um, Real Love for Stephanie Mills. And we did that background for Keith Sweat, okay? Which one? Guy oh, yeah. Right in the Wrong Way? Right, Right in the Wrong Way. And uh, he did something for Stephanie Mills, the song called Real Love. Mm -hmm. Some people say that song. I want a real love. And that was very early on for me, you know. But I love Stephanie Mills. I, I Listen, that's the other person that I am very happy that I work with. But I want to say this. I didn't get to work with her close on. It was more like I wrote the song. And then when Teddy went in the studio with her, I wasn't there with her when she recorded the song. Okay. Uh... I was sort of behind the scenes, but... She, she, besides Michael Jackson, and ironically enough, they used to go together. Michael <laughs> Jackson and Stephanie Mill, those are the two more out of all of the people that I wrote songs for. Those are my two favorite people. Okay. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you love what you watched, there's over 100 artists that we've interviewed. 
so please check out the videos remember to like share how not and subscribe but better still become a member of halftime chat and get exclusive videos ahead of time but thanks for watching take care